At 96, Kuichi Takei says something surprising about his health. Any pain there? No. He's feeling better now than he was three years ago. And I do a lot of walking. The improvement is not because he's on a new drug, his daughter says, but because he got a new doctor. Having a, a primary care who is sensitive to the needs of, of an older person is so important. UC Davis's Dr. Michael McLeod is a geriatrician. He's trained to address the complex needs of aging patients, especially those in their 80s and beyond. We're trying to help people to function to their absolute maximal potential with what they have. That often means finding ways to take them off medications other doctors have prescribed, but are causing unwanted side effects. We see people sometimes coming in on 10, 15, even 20 medications, and we're able to just unravel these one by one. Geriatricians are certain to be in growing demand now that the oldest baby boomers are approaching 65. But there are just over 7,000 certified geriatricians in the United States. It's estimated we should have 16,000. And by 2030, we will need 36,000 geriatricians to care for an aging population. Still, it's a specialty that attracts few new doctors. In general, our society is very anti-aging. Everything that's out there is to stay young and youthful. So it may not even be a consideration for some doctors to think of taking care of old people. There's another reason fewer doctors are becoming geriatricians. The average income, about $150,000 a year, is much lower than other specialties. Good morning. But payback isn't always in dollars. A study of job satisfaction among doctors showed geriatricians are the most satisfied. I like working with this older population. I find them fascinating. They bring so much to the table. Patients seem well satisfied too. I have a, a high comfort level that he cares. Those hoping to increase the number of geriatricians want to include more geriatric training in medical school and increase the pay for this special group of doctors whose patients aren't getting any younger. John Blackstone, CBS News, Los Angeles.